Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your images on your website look awesome. Okay, so this is what we'll be designing in today's episode. So over here on the left, these are the original images and then the changes that I've made, I've made them over here to the right. So as you can see here, I've changed uh, the hue of uh, this image. Over here on this couple, I've uh, changed this image here to a sepia tone. And then over here, I've changed the city into a black and white. And over here, we've just made this image look awesome. So this is what I'll be showing you today. So let's get started. Now for this, you don't even need to learn Photoshop or GIMP or any of those complicated softwares to make your website look or your images look awesome. So first of all, before we begin, all my images are royalty free. I take them from an image from a website called pexels.com. So you may want to check out pexels.com and use high res images from there. Otherwise, this doesn't really work if you use pixelated images and images of a low quality. So that's the first, first, first tip. All right, so I'm gonna dive over here. Let me show you the website and let's get started. Right, so over here we are on uh, pexels.com. So uh, as you can see here, you can just come to the top here, search for um, the type of images you want. So right now I've just searched for models and you can see here these beautiful you know, images that you can use on your website. All right, so now that we have the images thing out of the way, let's dive into, photo, uh, into did I say Photoshop? Into WordPress and <laughs> let's start editing all our images. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do here is uh, I'm running a basic install of WordPress but I have a trick up my sleeves. I use a page builder called Divi. Now this page builder has all the features that we're going to need in order for our images to look awesome. And by the way, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my full course, which retails at $247. Now this course teaches you everything that you need to know about designing websites with Divi and WordPress. All right. so. That out of the way. So over here, we're just gonna start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here, click on add new. Right, so let's just call this page images. Okay, but you can call this page whatever you want. So I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder. Right, so I'm gonna build everything from scratch. Right, so right now we are on a basic uh, canvas. This is where we got to start to add all our elements that we need for our page. So I'm gonna start off by clicking this plus button here. So this is where we get to choose our columns. So I'm just gonna choose two columns because uh, what I'm gonna do here is to compare before and after, okay? So that's the best way we can take a look at what we are designing. All right, so now that we have this, I'm just gonna close this for now and I want this row to be slightly wider. So I'm gonna come over here to my row settings design, sizing, and uh, let's come over here to custom width and set it to 80%. Right, so that's all we need to do there. Now let's start adding all our images. So to add our images, we need to add what is known as a module. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and we are going to search for the image module. So I've just typed in there IMA and then it just you know narrows it down and now I have image. I'm gonna click on that. So this is where now I get to choose the image that I want to use. So this could be either on your media library, on your WordPress website, or it could be on your computer, somewhere on your desktop, or in any other folder. So you need to grab that uh, image and add it onto your website. So all you have to do here is to click here, and then I'm gonna start off with this one here. Boom, right, click upload an image. So now we have our image right there added, fantastic. So what we need to do next is to save this and then we're just gonna duplicate this so we have a copy of this image. Okay, so I'm gonna click this little button here, that's the duplicate button, and then I'm gonna grab this handle and just drag it over here to the right. That easy, so now we have two images that look the same. All right, so now let's start adding all our filters. So we're gonna do all the changes over here to the right. So all you have to do now is to click on this gear icon, boom, now we're in the settings. Next, click on design. And then we want to come all the way down here to filters. Okay, so this is where we're going to uh, mess around and make all our changes to our images. Okay, so let's start by decreasing the brightness. So I'm gonna decrease the brightness there. So you can see here as I'm dragging the slider down, the brightness is changing. Look at that. 
Okay, so, but we don't want it too much. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at about 58. Now let's add some contrast. Look at that. So just by making these two little changes, you can already see that our image now looks much better than how it is over there on the left. It's got more contrast, it looks way much better. Okay, so let's just add a little bit of this, like that. And that's it, that could be, you know, the look that we want to add on our image. So I'm pretty much happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead now and save. Now let's find another image and apply different styles to it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna duplicate this uh, row because that will save us from um, adding all these settings over and over again. So I'm gonna duplicate and then I'm gonna come over here to the top and change the image. So I'm gonna click here on the module settings and then I'm gonna click here. This time, the image that I need is on my computer. So I need to go to my downloads folder, upload it onto my computer. Okay, so I'm gonna click here on uploads, select files, and this is my downloads, because everything that I downloaded is right here. Okay, so let's see. So we have an image of this city here. Let's start with this city. Double click on that. Okay, it's being uploaded. And there we go, we have our image there. I'm gonna save this. So obviously we don't need this one here on the right because you want to do it before and after. So I'm going to duplicate this one here, drag it over to the right. So now we have them side by side. And again, over here is where I'm going to make all my changes. So this time we want to make this image black and white, okay? So I'm going to click here on design, filters. So to do that, you want to drag your saturation down, boom. Okay, just like that. And then over here, you want to play with your brightness and contrast. So let's see what looks better here. So let's increase our brightness, but not too much. So maybe 112% and then the contrast, we can increase that or you know um, reduce that. So I think right here at about 94% is fine. So that's it, you know, you change your image from um, color to black and white, just using a, a few simple clicks. So I'm happy with that, let's go ahead and save. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, add more styles. So we're gonna come over here, duplicate this one more time, and uh, let's choose a different image. So I'm gonna click here, upload files, select files. Right, so this time I am going to, let's see. Right, let's go with these, with this couple here. Great, upload an image. Right, so as we did before, we're gonna save this first, and then we're gonna come over here and duplicate this, delete that, drag this over here to the right. Okay, so now they are side by side. So let's make our changes over here to this one. So I'm gonna click on this gear icon, click on design, and then we're gonna come over here to filters. Okay, so this time we wanna do something different. Let's uh, play around with the sepia tone. So to do that, we just need to drag this over to the right. So you can see here as I'm dragging this, this is changing. So just by making those few changes to your images, you can change the style of your images. Now, when I take a look at this, uh, it reminds me of how I used to use Photoshop before. So in fact, let me show you what that looks like. So I'm just gonna come over here, change these, change this, put Photoshop there in the um, front. Okay, there we go. So we have an image here. So the blending modes are, are here. So you can see when I go to multiply, burn, linear burn, darker, soft light, you know, color dodge. So these blending modes are in uh, Photoshop. But the amazing thing now with Divi is we have these blending modes in your actual page builder. So you don't need to worry about learning Photoshop or trying to you know, make changes to your images in Photoshop, then bring them back into your page builder. So you can do all these styles within your page builder. But use this with caution because you don't wanna go to the extreme with these uh, settings, just make them look, you know, give them a style, make them look nice, and pretty much you know, that's all you need to do to your images. So um, again, I'm not saying Photoshop is irrelevant here. Of course, Photoshop has its, um, uh, has its place uh, where you can re um, resize your images and all of that because Divica of course can't do that. But if you wanna make all these basic you know, styles, basic changes, you can do it over there in Divi. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is get rid of this uh, Photoshop thing here. Um, so back over here, I wanna show you a few more things that you can do with your images. So that was the uh, sepia tone. 
So uh, let's save this. So let's choose one more image and then I'm also gonna show you a different style. So um, yeah, let's do it right here at the top. Duplicate that one more time. Okay, uh, we're gonna delete this and we're gonna add our image. Oh, I, should have been, I shouldn't have done that. But anyway, there's my image module. Let's go to our uploads. So this time I need to upload a an image which is slightly different. Let's see what we can use here. Okay, let's use this of a car. Okay, upload an image. I'm gonna save that, I'm gonna duplicate it and then delete this one here to the right as we did before. Drag this over. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just like before, we're gonna go into our filters here. And this time, we want to play around with the hue. So, uh, let's say, I change my hue, you can see there, it's actually changing. So now it has a slightly bluish tint to it. Okay, uh, let's play around with our saturation here. We can increase it, make it much, more vivid. Uh, the brightness here we can increase, but uh, we want to reduce this a little bit, okay? Like that. Right, so over here, you can now play with your blending mode. So we can go to multiply, for example. Okay, well that's not doing much. Okay, so we're gonna leave that a hue. And um, we can also, invert our colors here, so you can see here, I've just inverted my image, and now that's a style that maybe you may want to go with, but of course we're not gonna go with that, so I'm just gonna drag this back over here. No invert, so our contrast here, we can increase our contrast and decrease it, so I prefer it just about at 96% there, but as you can see here, I've just changed my image from this to that, really, really fast. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you. This is how you can customize, make changes to your images in your page builder. And in this case, I'm using Divi. Now, if you wanna learn how to design websites using Divi, I have a course. So if you have Divi already, I also have a course that can teach you step-by-step -step how to design awesome looking websites with Divi. Now, the link to all this stuff is in the description below. So go ahead and check it out. Till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.